Hello cat, and welcome back to my second ever casual playthrough with deferred rendering turned on. I am going to get as far as I can in Minecraft with the beautiful new graphics options which are coming as part of the latest beta. This is something that is insane to see, especially being supported by Minecraft officially themselves, and so I think it's going to be fun, but I'm learning from last time. Here's an important thing. If you're ever going to do something for a second time, make sure you learn from the first, and what I learned from my first time doing this is is that trying to go to the nether is a futile effort. Right now, at least, there is just not enough light there to do anything besides die. And so my plan is to minimize nether exposure. And so that is precisely what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be doing as much of the run in the overworld as possible. We'll go visit some caves and see if they are remotely doable. But mostly trying to stay in, because, you know, something fun that basically every shader's pack limits in. And honestly, that Minecraft's really, really short on when it comes to... Uh, uh, their physical based rendering engine is when it comes to great lighting everything looks incredible however basically for good lighting to look good they've got a system where bad lighting just is unplayably bad like you cannot see anything and uh, it's a part of what makes you appreciate light so much i guess but in my opinion it's just a terrible thing so first things first we're gonna get some wool make a bed and we're gonna uh, make sure that if we're going to avoid the never we're going to be doing as much in the overworld as we can. That's going to include either getting gold here, so we do the minimum amount of time possible than ever, or we could do something even more fun, and we could get a bunch of gold if we find a mesa. So, uh, how I'm going to be beating Minecraft, how I'm going to be playing Minecraft, uh, depends, maybe as always, based on the biomes that I run across. Right now, I don't really see a lot. I see there's a jungle here, so the mesa strategy looks more likely, but we don't know for sure until we go, which is a lot of the fun. Also, deferred rendering looks great. It says succulent beans. <laughs> First of all, interesting username. Second of all, yeah, the I think there is no one who looks at this and says, oh, actually, that is a nice improvement on Minecraft. I do think, though, it will never be the default. This is, even though this is an official Minecraft thing, and if they wanted to, they could roll this out to everyone. Um, you know, I think uh, it's worth saying that that's not probably their intention and also probably shouldn't be even if they could and even if they wanted to i think the issue of rolling this out to everyone all the time is that a part of minecraft's charm almost is its bad looking aesthetic this is nice and it's beautiful because it's the same minecraft while we recognize but i don't know that it actually improves everything by all too much also we're going to get some bamboo it's a great source of sticks which are a great source of fuel i think i guess you can use them as fuel even without sticking them, but yeah, it's um, an important thing to say is that I do fully believe, also it's so, <laughs> so low render distance right here. Um, so fun fact, yeah, part of having these beautiful graphics is you get very low render distances. It's like we're playing Java out here. Um, this is something we can turn up, and so we're going to do that right now. We're going to go right in here, and we're going to turn up our defense for render distance a little bit, and also turn down the, uh, we're gonna turn down the, uh, I guess the volumetric fog, <laughs> or the bloom maybe, see what happens if we do that, just like a little bit, just to see if we can make the game a little bit more playable, it's, uh, it's a bit nicer, right, speaking of things that are nice, why does the water look like that, because it's, it's beautiful, so, yeah, to get this right now, oh, look at the baby turtle, <laughs> he's so tiny, so ridiculously tiny, um, go for a swim, let the fog consume you, that seems to be, the point of going in the water in this. When you get in the water, the game decides, no, you don't deserve render distance anymore. A feature I cannot work out in the slightest. It might be a, a thematic thing, but I, I don't like it. So, uh, yeah, as you can see, our jungle plan was just the tiny, tiny corner. If I want to find uh, actual mesa biomes or a village, I think I need one of those two for my, my plan to not go to the never to succeed. I'm going to have to find one myself, and so... Let's just, let's bite the bullet right now. Let's get in a boat and let's go sailing across the ocean. The very, very beautiful ocean, by the way. Oh, yeah, that's something. That's, that's really something. I think, uh, yeah, the, the reason this shouldn't be rolled out is because part of Minecraft's charm is its minimalist aesthetic. And if you can't stick to something, uh, I, I think if you can't expect... Minecraft to even look the same way. Uh, that, you know, it's kind of like every game that upgrades their graphics always does so as a toggle, and it usually works out better that way for everyone. Also, yeah, genuinely, as you go out further away from the ocean, you lose the ability to see the shore. There's got to be some reason to that. It almost feels like a loading screen when you get in a boat. But yeah, let's break this. Let's see what's over here. Not too much, although we'll take the sugar cane. 
I I would recommend if anyone is looking to start a new world, maybe maybe you're inspired, maybe you're just doing so anyway after a while. I always would say, and especially right now, that just make sure you find sugar canes early. Wait, sugar canes? It's not sugar cane singular. It's sugar canes. Ah. Anyway, find sugar canes plural or singular, whichever one you prefer. And uh, you will not regret having a pile of this when you need it. There are precisely two moments in a Minecraft world where it becomes important, but they're both very important Minecraft moments. And so I'm going to make sure we take full advantage of it. I'm also going to start a bamboo farm and uh, a decent food farm of some form. Uh, but th those are all realistically like back, back of the mind characteristics compared to what I really want, which is going to be found in this village. So yeah, usually you have to go to more than one village if you want to get a lot of librarians, but we'll, we'll see what we've got in this first one. If we've got um, not librarians. We want clerics. We want people who will sell me ender pearls later. Also, this is just a Minecraft bug, but isn't this interesting? <laughs> it's a sinkhole. It it forces me to go down. Also, yeah, there are multiple uh, sugar cane planes when you're holding them, and when you put them down, there's multiple. Yeah, I, I do actually agree that sugar canes is more logical from the ground up. Like, I, I totally agree with it. It's one of those things you don't think about until you, you hear it out loud or you read it for the first time. And you realize, ah, oh, this is this is just the way things have been, huh? So what do we got over here? We got ourselves a chest. We're going to break in and obviously grab it. Ooh, four emeralds. Grab some bread. Grab some saddles. Um, yeah, I, I always am a big... I saw, so by the way, we're at the right coordinates where it might be worth digging down and just seeing if we have a stronghold below this village. Yeah, I need to go down at some point anyway. Now seems like as good a time as any. So we're going to quickly confirm... You know, there's enough villagers here. There's there's like at least four dudes. That's enough to make a couple of Fletchers and still have a cleric. And maybe even if we want to, have ourselves an armor or something. Or a level worker. I don't want an armor or a level worker. But the fact that I can have them is nice. And all I have to do is keep the village safe, which I shall do so. So, uh, um, I didn't uh, think there was a stream today. Did I miscount? Nope, I don't think I did. Yeah, I'm a, I am I have a important, like, uh, thing with a family friend tomorrow. And rather than, like, stressing about, like, making sure I get home from that on time or delaying the stream a lot, or maybe a combination of both, I think it'd be logical just to set up and, uh, you know, like, do, do the stream today. Because I also really wanted to do this for a while. There's, uh, sugarcane is definitely the plural of sugarcane. Is sugarcane the plural of sugarcane? Can you confirm that? You know, is that true, chat? Um, it feels true, doesn't it? But also, I just don't know anymore. So let's make ourselves a pickaxe. Easy peasy. And let's let's set down our other stuff here now, actually. Now that we're just, we're committing to settling down here. So this will be my sugarcane patch. It won't go very far yet, but eventually it will. Then just behind my sugarcane patch, we'll put my bamboo down. Nice and simple. One, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, okay, that's not that's not how I wanted that to go at all. But now we got a bamboo patch. This is always an important oh, part of any world, but in my world in particular, it's especially important. Oh look, by doing that, we made the bamboo look real rather than fake. And then we will, you know, we don't even need decent food. We're gonna find hay bales here for the first bit, so we'll move on from that, and we'll go simply. To kill the golem, I guess. No, I'm not going to kill the golem. I, I think I want him. We'll chop down all the wheat, make some food, mine the first cobblestone that I see. It's surprising to not see any cobblestone this early in the game, but I guess, is there some over there? And then we'll just make another crafting table. Oh, actually, there's some down here. Perfect. And then look at the cave, realize, oh god, we're in over our head, and run away. That's, that's, that's my current plan. But yeah, this is going to be my source of coal which I'm going to need if I am going to, I don't know, sell to the armorer instead of the Fletcher. Yeah, the, the the plan, when it comes to beating Minecraft without the Never, you really have to commit to one of two strategies early. And it's, will you trade, you know, like, will you trade with villagers, you know, like a, a casual way? Or will you just rush up the tech tree and try and get a cleric going as quickly as possible? And my plan's the entire second way. I, I could trade with piglins by just finding the first piglins in a safe patch of the nether. But even then, that's not really netherless. That's just the nether light. I am going to the nether to kill blazers at some point anyway. So we might as well minimize everything else about our experience. So, 
yeah, that's that's that sounds like a good plan. That's that sounds like a, a logical thing. Someone who is actually uh, thinking would have that idea, and that's how you know it did come from me. So let's now make 90 wheat into 30 bread. What a lovely number that is. Food is sorted, and now I just have to find somewhere to sleep. The also, I, I think I want to get a lot of torches. That's why I want coal. I think selling it to villagers would be short-sighted, given how much I'm probably going to go through. So instead, we'll just take the first sleeping point we can. Also, I want to make an axe. Uh, I'm going to chop down a lot of wood later. And we might as well start the game now. Like, okay, there is a big tree here. Let's make it go away. I do not like this deferred rendering. Actually, you know what? That's an interesting question. I, I, I assume a lot of people watching are like, ooh, this is pretty like me. Um, how about we do a poll and we work out what percent of you like this? I think this is like a good improvement to Minecraft. And what percent of people say, actually, Minecraft is better off without it. Because I'm enjoying looking at it just to like get a feel for what it is. Like, look at this. Don't you, don't, how can you not love this chat? But also, you know, I, I'm entirely willing to accept I am not the average person. <laughs> it's a, it's a hard thing to accept. We all, we all model the average person off ourselves. Like, if you think something, then everyone must think it. And if you don't think something, then no one must think it. Only crazy people. If you do, if you find someone that disagrees with you, they must be literally insane. There's no other uh, possible explanation. Also, yeah, it's very dark. This is, this is, this is my biggest issue with it. Is once it gets dark, your vision becomes like nothing. Uh, also, about 70% of people, according to the current poll, say they do like it so far. That's very fun. So... Yeah, as long as we keep everyone alive, which it looks like we're just about able to do. I can go down into the cave. I can start mining some goodies. And I can get up to irons here. Make a, make a shield or something like that. I don't like shields. I, I I have a... This is my confession. Every Minecraft player is like, the shield's so good. And objectively, it's like so powerful. I I like it a lot. But it just it just absorbs so much of the screen. It... it, it it really, it makes you feel like you're playing Minecraft differently. It doesn't doesn't feel correct to me. But I think everyone has this feeling about things that came out after they started playing. Like the, the line on what is okay and what is not entirely depends on what is, you know, what is something you're used to versus not. And maybe, maybe that's okay. Maybe that's what we've always done as humans, what we'll always do. But it still feels strange that we make such big judgments based on things like that. So yeah, this cave is ridiculous looking. And the light is coming from nowhere. <laughs> yeah, I forgot. The the reason that caves are playable in this is solely because of the fire. Oh, look how crazy big this cave is. The reason you can play in caves is because the lighting does not work to the point where light spawns in caves when it shouldn't. I don't understand. <laughs> Look at this. It's like there's a searchlight on these zombies. It feels like we're in prison right now, breaking out, and these zombies are just a part of that. But there we go. That is some iron, if I'm not mistaken. If I can kill the zombies after me, I can get my hands on a decent amount of it, which is what I want to do to make an iron axe, maybe. Because a diamond, a diamond axe feels a bit unrealistic right now. Also, ooh, yeah. Again, it's the searchlight effect. It is... It feels like there is some big... You know, like helicopter that's, you know, currently out for my arrest right now. They're saying, I'm going to keep sending zombies. It's just going to keep on happening until this goes. I don't know how to feel about the fact that the textures are 3D. So I, uh, I, I referenced this in the video. I've got, uh, it's coming out very shortly. Uh, I think as soon as Tuesday. Um, it's, it's, it's in the uh, stages of editing right now. I'm kind of comparing deferred rendering to RTX. But also pointing out a lot of the things that, like, maybe aren't very obvious about it. Okay, let's go. Explosion time. That's bad. That's real bad. Oh, that's extra bad. I always forget how helpless you are with no armor in Minecraft. <laughs> but, um, yeah, the, the important thing to... See, that, that, that was like a, a false sense of security I let myself go into. And now I have to walk into the dark cave because the light has actually faded away this time. So let's run through. Let's avoid the witch. And let's get my stuff back. Um, well, this looks cool. Is this a new official thing? It is, actually. Um, oh, yeah, I'm lost. I, without the light, I genuinely don't know what is where in this cave. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know how I ever found my way around anything. Uh, also, I'm going to get destroyed by a baby zombie. I, there's no other way around that. So, yeah, beautiful cave, but also I am lost inside of it. We could turn off the deferred rendering, but again, the goal is to not have to do that today. 
unless it is physically impossible to do something, I will be leaving on my very... <laughs> Look at the light. <laughs> what is causing it to do this? I would love to know. Um, but yeah, unless it is physically impossible, we'll be leaving it on. And also, no more deaths. That's that's my that's my promise to you, dear viewer. You don't come here to watch me die. You come here to watch me thrive. I hope. You know, if you do if you do come here to watch me die, then good news for you. Um, we got we got videos like this. Oh god, it's so dark. <laughs> I, it's it's crazy. This this is the best. Even though this is a bug, this is the showcase of what I mean by Minecraft is either so bright that it feels like it's hurting your eyes. Or it's so dark you can't see anything when you put deferred rendering on. It's very, very hard to get over that fact. Um, and it's very hard to find a pack that won't be like this. Which is one of the biggest issues with this. So, we're going to come back in once we have some coal. Because right now I don't think we can make any real progress there. Actually, coal. Right here. Perfect. So we should have to get that one piece. Don't tell me the one piece. Okay, we're just going to grab the one piece. We're just going to grab maybe a second piece. Nice and easy. Yep, yep. Just two pieces of coal. And now we're out of there. No more issues. No more pain. Just just freedom and maybe a bit of light. <laughs> yeah, that, that was brutal. I will not be too frank. I will be frank with you, in fact, actually. I got five raw iron, and I've got enough to make some mutton, which will be nice. But in terms of actually surviving that, I think we should just make a sword, make a pickaxe, go kill some cows, maybe. Uh, and then try and come back for this. By the way, um, I like it when the lightning isn't bugged and how foggy it can look in front of you. Please don't be frank. I like you better as Toy Cat, says Chantal. <laughs> you know what? I'm sorry. Okay, I've changed my mind about being frank. I'm sticking as Toy Cat today. Um, you have great videos. Makes me think I'll play Minecraft for a long time, even if I'm on my phone. I think if... The, 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 the coolest thing that I feel like I can do for people is encourage... Re-reminding them what they love about Minecraft. Is re-reminding a phrase, or is reminding, if it already has the re, can you not re-extra re do it, you know? But, um, yeah, I, I I love the feeling of, like, being like, I'm not sure what to do, and then finding the thing and being like, oh, this is nice. And so I'm sure you can tell in some of my most popular videos, that's the common theme in it. Also, I don't like how crisp the edges are. Yeah, it's, it's interesting that you describe that as a weakness, because I totally agree with it, and yet still find it to be a interesting criticism. Anyway, that, with that said, we can now make four torches, and we're going to use those four torches to make more torches. That is my plan. I will let you know if it succeeds. Uh, the answer is probably no, but you know, if you if you don't go, you don't know. So let's find some coal. The coal doesn't light up, which is funny, because it is used to make the things that do light up, but otherwise is not very useful at it. Uh, but there's a lot of iron here. Oh, there's so much iron. That's a shield. This could be some boots. If I can just... Uh, okay, we'll kill the zombie. This is this is the ideal time for it. Actually, wait, that, that, that leather helmet is useful. Look at this. Oh, yeah, I have 5%, no, 4% damage reduction now. I am ready for a good life. Ooh, ooh, no, not, not according to the skeleton, I'm not. So we are going to have to kill him, obviously. Sorry about this, friend. I know... I know you have big goals, including murdering me, but you can't succeed in your goals because then I'll fail in mine. Let's place the torch down. See, look at that. Even with the torch, and even with the fog turned to what, medium, we can still barely see. That torch gives me the tiniest bit of vision in what I otherwise would not be able to see anything from, but it's not enough to actually do something with. So let's eat some melons, even though I should probably be switching to a higher quality food. Let's mine some more coal. Because there is some in there, and so I would like it. And let's see if we can't... Oh, yeah, let's get out there. No, no, this is not out. This is the opposite of out. Okay, actually, how bad could it be if we just go a little bit deeper in the cave? Think about it. The lower in we go, the further away we are from light. And so, the less weird lighting bugs we'll have. And the more my torches will... Look at this! This is pathetic! I, <laughs> I can't see anything from the torch. <laughs> okay, so... Unless lava is more effective, which it might be. I'm, I could try that. Um, going in caves is not a functional strategy for me. Ooh, yeah, let's get out there. Um, there is a huge cave here that I would love to explore any other time. But right now is not that time. It's like a foggy cave. It's beautiful. It's interesting, I, I guess, uh, from an outside perspective. 
and you're not actively playing this right now, this could be the best thing you've ever seen. But to my mind, it's just like, what, what am I? <laughs> it's so useless as a cave. I can occasionally find a villager. Uh, that guy is a zombie villager right there. Um, I'm occasionally finding a mob easily. And then occasionally there's a lighting bug where I can see things like they're really there. But otherwise, yeah, this is a weird situation to find myself in. I'm going to grab that iron there too, actually. Just while we're here. Some nice, easy pieces right here. And there we go. We're good. Anything else? More iron? Okay, if you insist. Let's go, go. One iron. Two iron. So, um... Yeah, actually, wait, chat, while we're here, um, there was someone in chat recently who was talking about Copper Mountain. If you, uh, if you work at Copper Mountain, let me know. I, I'm very curious. I've got some, uh, I've got some real questions about it I'd like to answer. But if you don't work at Copper Mountain, then let me assure you that if you want to get a job, uh, at the metaphorical Copper Mountain, all you've got to do is go into any Minecraft cave post 2020, and you can be living in your dream of dreams. More seriously though, isn't it weird how even now, I don't think anyone is excited yet to find copper. I think that's like a big, that that would be a big turning point for the value of it. Also, it's still daytime. I thought it would, I was sure it would be night, but I was sure that I am wrong, or I am surely wrong apparently. So my armor is leaving a little bit to be desired. Um, I, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't think this is enough to fight mobs in the cave. But I did come up at just the right time if I'm looking to uh, survive, which I always am. Or if I'm looking to sleep. Because, yeah, the, the daytime is nice. Even the sunset, it's... This is the right level of light for always, in my opinion. But anything worse than this. And we're just... We're right back out to unplayable again. Although, actually, maybe we could use the darkness to find a lava pit. You can do this in regular Minecraft, too. You just gotta... All you've gotta do to find lava is look for the light when there is dark. But with, with the, you know, with the deferred rendering, with the extra darkness that you'll find at night, maybe we'll be able to see a lava pool. Actually, wait, there's a room portal right there. Never mind. Okay. Well, I guess that solves my problem. I'll smelt up my, I'll smelt my, uh, my, 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 my iron up using some wood. Then I'll make a bucket and then I'll get a lava bucket and then I won't have to worry about smelting things anymore. It's a genius idea if it works. And that is a big if right now, but I'm okay with it. So let's place my furnace here. This is going to be my house soon. I'm going to start tearing out the walls. Oh, this isn't my house. Well, I'm going to put a bed in there. In fact, let's let's do that now. I've got free wool. Oh, I placed my wool down somewhere. Oh, I just didn't pick it up. Okay. Never mind. I guess uh, ignore what I just said. It's all a terrible idea that has not panned out. And so instead, let's make eight acacia planks. Throw them in. And go to the nearest bed. It's just, it's so dark at night. Look at this. I can, I can see torches just about, but otherwise it's terrible. It's awful. Also, um, Son says, are you playing an Xbox? Uh, no, I use an Xbox controller even though I play on PC. I used to be very hardcore about continuing to stick to the console, but just at a certain point, it stopped making sense for me to continue recording there. And that is sad. It is, uh, there's a part of me that would rather. If things stayed the old way. But um, my, Mojang just stopped caring about um, proper support for consoles. They ex You can play it. It's not that they don't allow you to play. It just, it's so much worse than even, like it should make sense that recording on one device, you know, and then like offloading the power onto the second record would be more effective than doing both on the same. But it didn't work out that way for me. And so sad. Also, are you gonna kill the Ender Dragon, says the fairy? That's the plan. I mean, we could also be friends with the Ender Dragon. She's, she's just chill. She's not a terrible uh, roommate if we, if we have to, absolutely. But the plan is to murder her um, a little bit relentlessly. However, if we're going to do that, we're going to need... Yeah, we, we could go to the Nether here if we wanted to. This, this will be my Nether portal when it comes to it. Also, chest plate, shovel, love that. Uh, another pickaxe. Don't know if I'm going to use that. And flint, which I can sell, I want to say. I, I, I feel like you can sell flint to a a Fletcher, maybe. I'm going to use flint to make the fletching tables to make the Fletchers. So we'll go do that now, actually. We'll find some villagers, remove their crafting, or remove their work tables, replace them with some of those. 
And then whenever we get a diamond axe or something, we don't need one, but it'd be better with one. We'll go start chopping down and doing the crazy ender pearl game that we need to. Um, you're also able to import your own stuff in Windows much easier, unlike consoles. Yeah, it's 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 sad to me. It makes sense why, but if it, most games when they have you know like asymmetric uh, design between you know like PC and console, it's like yeah, the PC is the more customizable version, but you can then take advantage of the consoles. And they're like no. The consoles will just be a worse version of the PC in every way, where you have to buy our stuff. Haha, <laughs> got you good there. And then you'll you'll keep playing it because it's Minecraft. And you know what? They're not they're not wrong. I will keep playing it because it's Minecraft. <laughs> I, uh, I I I don't think that's like seriously what's going on. I, I imagine there are a lot of people who want to make it good, but uh, it's not where we arrive at. So here are my leather boots, my leather pants, and my gold chest plate, which together make me. Someone wearing just enough armor to probably not die immediately, I hope. And so now we take our iron, take our bucket, make a shield if we can. In fact, let's just make a whole stack of these. Make a shield if we can find it. It's over here. We can make eight shields. Wow, I am really rolling in it. And then make these fletching tables just so we've got like a head start on what we're about to do. Because, yeah, if you if you want easy emeralds, in terms of, like, time put in to time you get out, I feel like there's just no match for the fletching table. So we have another cleric, which might be good, but it's mostly not what I'm looking for. I'm mostly just trying to find some dudes. So blast furnace, be gone. Uh, that's now a farmer. So we're going we to have to chop down a lot of random blocks around the village. Um, it's, it, it's one of the weird things about villages, is they always have far more job sites than actual, like things for like villagers to do the things it seems like they'd have an employment issue if uh if i if i was paying attention that would happen but instead yeah we're great this guy is attracted to a composter i cannot see is it down there maybe it's not well we don't have to worry about every single villager we just have to make sure we help a decent majority have no more job so that that way when i come in here with the brand new fletching jobs they get excited and they want to do it so you are currently doing an armorer job it looks like, and I feel like I could replace that with a much more fun job if you were just willing to become a Fletcher instead. Would you like to be a Fletcher? Someone has to become all these Fletchers for us. And actually, we should probably put them in the same place. Now that I think about it, putting this in there is a bad idea. Thematically, it makes sense, but otherwise, no. Also, um, I uh, Easy Emeralds build this simple raid farm. It takes five hours and includes needing to move villagers. Yeah, a lot of uh, people forget that early game Minecraft exists. It's, uh, there is there is a need for it. I Personally, I think early game Minecraft is to move to the mid game as fast as you can. But a lot of people are like, no, there is one solution to this problem. It's the only solution I accept. And I think that's uh, a problem whenever people uh, forget there are other solutions to things. And, you know, maybe that's uh, a part of specialization is us all coming to different conclusions about similar problems. But personally, I find it weird. Anyway, so now we need to destroy this man's uh, work table, just in case we need him later. I'm sure we will. And then we're also going to move the beds nearby, maybe? But yeah, we've got we've got free Fletchers, I think. Actually, wait, do we... We might not even need to. We might be just fine as it is. So we'll now uh, trap Hope this guy. Hope you have a good time with your family friend tomorrow. Thumbs up. My daughter has decided since the tree is up, Santa needs to come now. Santa Claus, <laughs> will this deferred rendering be I... optional? Thoughtful face. Yeah, I, I, I don't think. Honestly, I'm, I'm guessing. I, I, I again, I'll, I, to avoid repeating myself too much. I, uh, about from my video that's coming soon, not like something I've said yet. I think my conclusion with the video is that this is probably a thing that Minecraft are doing, so that they can. Uh, for the sake of being able to sell texture packs that have shaders built in. It's obviously a nice benefit for the game as a whole if people uh, enjoy it for all sorts of other reasons, but that is the big reason they are likely, you know, it takes a long time to put anything in Minecraft. So for this to be like any amount of priority for them, it tells you they have some good reasons as a company. Uh, and given the fact that they're specifically not making it, you know, like uh, I, I would go the opposite way. The fact that it is optional, is what kind of proves that it will be. Uh, the, the, the fact that it's not, it, it's in betas even. It's, it's, it's optional in betas, and only within betas do you then have to 
do a bunch of stuff beyond that. Like, it takes a lot of steps to get it. And I assume that, that is something Minecraft are happy with. Also, can we put a barrel down here, do you think? Or do you, do you think that's a bad idea? You know, let's just go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna find diamonds in this game, chat. I'm gonna do it. It's gonna, it's gonna be, it's gonna suck for me. Because I can't see anything. But I'm gonna find diamonds. Also, yeah, thanks. Thanks, Pat. Um, hey, some guy um, just said, uh, oh, okay, I, <laughs> never mind. I, so, so I'm trying to be a drama person in the chat. I think there's this funny thing. I had this issue forever ago. Um, off, oh no! I think uh, something, something I saw once was someone being like, oh, there's this person who says that uh, you took his stuff. And I was like, oh, let's, let's go find out. And it was someone with like 11 views and I was like, oh, that, I, I don't think you can discredit a claim based on someone not having any views, but it's like, man, you really think I was one of the 11 people that watched your video and then made an entirely different video uh, that had no actual link to it, but was <laughs> Minecraft and was survival. It's not impossible. I, I do actually think, like, and then I thought about it some more and I was like, because um, I also had someone who followed me for a while that like, um, like was insistent that they invented Minecraft. They're like, everyone says that Notch made Minecraft, but they don't know I did. And I, you know, like, a part of me is, I, I like to view these things through, like, why would any rational person do this thing? A lot of people are too quick to decry the people who, you know, like, uh, that, that, you know, like, you know the whole thing, like, when you're driving, like, everyone going slower than you is uh, a granny, anyone going faster than you is a maniac who doesn't care about their safety. And what it actually is, is we're all just, we're, we've all got the same information and we're going different ways. Some people are actually maniacs, but most of the people that you think are a maniac are just having a different wrist. Oh, diamonds, right? Weird looking diamonds, but we just need three of those and we can get an X. Uh, they generally spawn one when you're in big caves like this, but there are actually mentally ill people out there who, I, th I forget what the name of it is, but it's like delusions. You, uh, people say you're delusional to mean like, ah, uh, you've got the Toy wrong Cap, idea. why did you steal my video about <laughs> lifting weights poorly? You know, Toy oh Cap no, yes. okay. It's finally, it's, it's finally coming out. Um, Okay, so it's finally, it's, okay, this is terrible. This is the worst. I don't like this at all. Okay, so I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to crouch right here. And we have to let the skeleton arrows bounce off the shield. Um, I need to eat, I need to eat ASAP, but I can't do it because I'm busy deflecting arrows. Um, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a block and I'm just gonna hide myself in a high hole here. Okay, so there we go, we're locked in. Oh, see, how is it dark? This is this is crazy the game can possibly think I'm somewhere where you'd see that. But there's just a bow poking through at me right now. We're going to ignore it. Um, I'm pretty sure it was view baiting as the guy's live at one Ooh. viewer. <laughs> oh, that's it. See, that, that's... It's a... It's... It, 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 it's that's, that's what I'm saying, like... There are some people who will genuinely believe stuff, though, because it's like... The idea of being delusional is, yeah, you have a... Something comes into your head, and in the same way that we would rationally stop ourselves from being like, oh, is McDonald's out to get me personally? Did they change their prices because they want me to enjoy fewer Big Macs? It's like, no, they probably did it because they want to make more money, and they know that there are fewer people who will buy a Big Mac at 10% more, but not 10% fewer people, and so it's a it's a worthwhile uh, you know thing for them to do. That's, that, that's what you could logically think about, or you could go, wow, the big corporation has uh, gone through this whole thing just so they can stop me. Man, everyone is out to get me. Uh, it's a, uh, I think that's one of the most common uh, delusions people go through. It's like, yeah, it's not that people are doing things of their own behest. It's that everyone is, you know, oh, whoa, mine shaft. And the mine shaft seems to be correctly lit. I, that's, I, it's rare you get to say that with this pack turned on, but I think the mine shaft is lit well. But, um, yeah, I, uh, I, I think the important thing to mention is that the, it's very easy and normal to go through this. And it's a part, a part of, I would say, like, I don't know, growing as a human being is working out when, like, when your emotions are right and when your emotions are wrong. Uh, a lot of people, like, overtrust their emotions, I would say. Um... And a lot of people probably undertrust their emotions. Like, you know, if you feel bad about something, you need to at least appreciate that feeling bad means you feel bad and to do something about that. Anyway, speaking of feeling bad, let's grab some gold. I don't think I need this at all, but I just, I feel silly when I don't mine gold, you know? I feel like I could trade it for arrows or something. 
And I could make I could make armor out of it. I can I can do something with the gold if I just take it now. But yeah, I'm just one diamond away from a diamond axe now, by the way, which is exciting and is reason enough to stay down here, even as things get scary. Speaking of scary, that's a baby zombie. Also, look at all the gold armor we got. We can actually make an upgrade. Oh, no, I can't. My inventory is very full. So I'll throw that on the ground. It seems silly, but you genuinely don't need spare copies of things like that. And let's now throw the leather cap down and replace it with a gold one. And then, should we do the same with the leggings? No, we shouldn't. That's a bad idea. Hello. How's it going? Um, but yeah, I, uh, speaking of being crazy, I am currently delusional if I think that I can find another diamond before nighttime falls. I can tell that nighttime must have happened because there's no random rays of light in here. So I'm thinking, I take advantage of the fact that this is technically an abandoned mine shaft. I'm gonna see if lighting works now. I'm hoping... Oh, it just, it works much better at, during the night, yeah. So that one bug is actually responsible for quite a few bugs. Kind of all in the same place. And so now all I want to do is I want to find some string, and I want to go to sleep. Even though nighttime is better, I don't want my villagers to die. Um, and they are above me right now. What pack are you using? Having a hard time, though. Uh, this is Smoky Stacks Deferred Rendering. Um, it is a pack that is close to vanilla. Also, whoa. It's a pack that's close to vanilla while using the new deferred rendering. Right now, you have to use a texture pack to enjoy this new feature. It is that level of like, oh, that's odd. It's that level of like optionality. Speaking of optionality, I just am looking for some string to get some wool here. I didn't figure it would take this much effort, but we're gonna light this place up. See, that looks good. Like in an actually closed off light environment, I feel like it looks pretty decent. And then we just need a few more string. Pro tip, if you ever need a bed and you're underground and you think there are no sheep down here, you don't actually need sheep. You just need to believe in yourself. Uh, so that's nine wool. Combine that with the one I've already got and the bones I've got and I am good to go. So crafting table time. Yes, yes, yes. Make two wool and then make my other wool into white wool using bone meal. And now we can make a bed. Except I'm not going to sleep in a white bed. Who do you think I am? So we now we now need to go find some lapis. Um, I'm just kidding. I think I have to. I, I'm going to do the ultimate sin and I'm going to sleep in a white bed. A peasant bed, I tell you. It's going to be fine. Deferred rendering actually makes me remember that the glow lichen exists. Yeah, I felt this way when, um, when RTX got huge as well. Um, the new lighting sources just make you appreciate that glow lichen is actually... A thing that is useful sometimes. Hey! By the way, Bedrock used to be super laggy back in 2017. It used to be so bad. I could not play it on a console. Speaking of not being able to play it, Mr. Glass Jr., thank you for becoming the 433rd uh, channel member. The counter doesn't show while I'm playing the, uh, the, the the preview and slash all the beta, by the way. Sorry for that. But um, you now have access to the green... That's right. Green username lets people know that you're a real person. You're not gonna... You're gonna, not gonna go as people would like to say, NPC mode on us, and be like, you know what, McDonald's are out here trying to take my lunch money from me. Uh, you also let people, you let people know that you're uh, someone to be uh, at least listened to as a, a real part. Uh, you know, sometimes I have this real thing where I, 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 I spend a lot of my life trying to understand why people do the things they do. And there are some really weird like internet interactions where I'm like, how could you possibly say the words that you just said? How is it that you heard, you, you you know, you you read the same, you know, like you watched the same video I did. You the, you watched the same video as everyone else. And then you, the, the words that came to your head that you typed out and then hit send on, were those? Really? I, I have that all the time. And uh, I rarely have it with members. Members are very good at not leaving comments that make you question, what does it mean to be human? Uh... I think one of the scary things about the AI revolution that I think a lot of people are going through, especially with video games, is like, people feel like they're playing against bots all the time. People feel like they're talking to bots. Have you ever, like, been with chat support on something and you're like, you're so sure it has to be a bot by the fact that it's, 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 it's ignoring the words that you said and kind of, like, substituting its own problem? Yes! That's my third diamond, by the way. I'm out. It's over. GG. Speaking of GG! Late to the stream. But hope you are doing well. Toy thank you, Chris H. I'm doing great besides the creeper. Um, yeah, I thank thank you, Chris H. I am doing pretty well. I had a 
I had a day today that, like, just made me reevaluate how time works. I went uh, go karting. I think I mentioned. I got. A, I had a, a little bit of a, a little bit of a side injury that I. I do you ever do you ever get injured in a way where you're like, oh yeah, this is fine, and then like an hour later you're like, oh no, this this will. At some point in the future, I will feel really bad about this. Is this just like is this an old man injury thing? I feel like that's what people say when you get older. It's like ooh, an injury goes from being a momentary pain to like out of order for a little bit. But I feel that right now. Um, anyway, yeah, I, I, I like go kind a lot. It's, 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 a, it's a fun... Oh, God! Why did I fall into a little crack of a ravine that is going to knock me into lava where there are mobs that are actively chasing me out of it? This is not going to end well for me. But I actually did need some lava, so I guess I'll, I'll scoop some up while I'm here. If I'm, if I'm gonna be in the death hole anyway, I might as well make something from it. But yeah, I, uh, I had a pretty good day. Thank you for it. But I, I also, I left the house for like half an hour of that at like 11. And I got home at 5 and it's like, I don't think I did a lot. Where did, where did those hours go? And I I don't know if that's a, a thing everyone else goes through. Or if I just had like a blackout in my memory. <laughs> More seriously, it was like, yeah, I, my the train station was cancelled. So I walked to a different one. There was a big stadium football event going on. Um, something to do with Tottenham if you know your football in the UK. If you'd love to enlighten me as to what I... I I think it'd be curious. I'm usually fine when I do a funny voice, but an hour later my voice is completely screwed. Yeah, I, uh, I, you people can just Google deferred rendering. You know, actually, no, 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 I'm, I'll, I'll assume a lot of you are showing up to the stream for the first time. Um, and since I don't have subscriber mode turned on, maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe that'd be a fun way for me to, uh, profit from this. Let me actually answer your questions about deferred rendering. Um, what are you seeing right now besides the buggy part of it? And uh, I'm, I'm going to do my best to, again, like, uh, approach this honestly. Like, it's not that people are too lazy to Google, uh, which is, you know, like, uh, we'll, we'll not assume that. And we'll say, uh, oh, it's not that people, I, I think a lot of people are showing up here, maybe because of the YouTube recommendation algorithm. And so they're like, yeah, what am I watching right now? I would like to hear the person who is showing it to me explain. So I'll try to assume from that assumption, uh, I'll try to assume uh, from that position that, yeah, actually, uh, this is a brand new set of graphics or, or graphics options that Minecraft is trialing in previews and betas only. They are specifically not rolling it out uh, past those user groups. But if you're in a preview or a beta, you can play Minecraft with a lot of new light rendering settings, which are basically here so that you can have a shaders-like experience in vanilla Minecraft. Except vanilla Minecraft is a bit of a catch, I would say. A bit of a, there's a bit of a catch there. In that this is available as part of resource packs. This is a resource pack that is using it in more or less for Linux Minecraft. But you might notice like villagers look different or as another example, uh, the water here looks different. There have been changes. Look, look at the water. Ooh. <laughs> there are changes that are made because it is a resource pack. It's very vanilla style. But uh, yeah. Also, I sure do love Toy Cat content. Thank you. Also, yeah, always assume good intentions. You know, that's what someone with bad intentions would say, Dasher. What do you want from me? Are you, are you here to e-mug me? Is that what's going to happen? Also, Squishy Races, I sure do love Toy Cat content. Thank you. I'm glad you do. But yeah, so I'm using Deferred Rendering right now because it does have a lot of issues that need to be worked out. But it also is just so beautiful. I Every time I'm playing Minecraft, I'm like, oh yeah, this is this is something nice, huh? This is, this is enjoyable. And I figured if I was enjoying it and I was going to do it anyway, I think it might be fun to... Hang out and do it with you all anyway. Because I think the best way to actually appreciate something like this is just to kind of do it. I'm also hoping. I'm going to... I'll reveal this right now. I want to find a trial chambers in Minecraft organically. Um, this is like one of my goals I've had for a while. But I would really love to organically just stumble across some trial chambers. Also, my villagers are fine. You'll be pleased to know. Including the guy inside there. So... Oh, and he will buy my gold from me. That's why I want gold. Yeah, gold is a really good thing to have. So I'm going to use gold not to trade a pig lens, but instead to do him good. So now we make a chest. We have to use a chest because if I use the barrels, which are already in my inventory, then I'll accidentally end up with some fishermen or something. So I'll make a chest just over here. Um, I want to put it on top there, but I know it won't work. So we'll put the chest underneath. Oh, that won't work either. So we'll put the chest in the wall here. That won't work either. We'll put the chest right there. And then we'll put the crafting table down 
over here. As well as another... Actually, we'll put the crafting table in the hole there. There we go. This is this is called perfection. And I know it's hard to believe, but you can have this one day too if you just if you just hold, hold your heart dearly. So now we'll put the wooden pickaxe in there. We'll grab out all of this gold. And also regret getting rid of all that rotten flesh earlier, but it's fine. I, it, I didn't, didn't care about it anyway. Now we make a diamond axe and we chop down some trees. Lots and lots and lots of trees. And every time we do so, we trade the sticks we get with these fellas. These fellas are going to give me lots and lots of emeralds. And those emeralds will be good for reasons, I assume. Also, uh, Haunted so uh, Zombie says, uh, Ayo, been some time. These graphics actually look de decent. Did you say it's for preview slash beta version only? So it's a toggle within the preview and the beta that you then need to have a resource pack enabled. Uh, so yeah, okay, if anyone is uh, anyone else is uh, watching, uh, then uh, let me know uh, if you have any questions about deferred rendering. Let's go, let's go like deferred rendering specific right now. Uh, because I, I like talking about uh, e-begging and go-karting and uh, petting cats as much as the next person. Um, but I also do appreciate. Also, I'm going to remove your that. And you're going to become a Fletcher. Perfect. I probably could have traded some amount with him before he did that. But, yeah, I don't need to. It's fine. So now we chop down a bunch more trees. And we're just going to try and get a big batch of trades made before we go to sleep tomorrow. That is the plan. Let's see if we can succeed with it. So every four pieces of wood we chop down equals one emerald because you change the wood into planks and the planks into sticks. And the sticks very neatly turn into emeralds with the villagers. As you can see, just like so. You get 16 trades per day per villager. And so you can become very wealthy if you just, if you just stick to it and you believe. So for now... That is the plan. We have 10 gold plus all of this gold. Uh, that's 19. Plus, we are then going to... Okay, so let's break in here. And, oh, we actually need to buy stuff to get to the level where we can sell in gold. So we, we, we have a lot to do. And it's all going to get done. Just just you wait. Just you believe in me. Uh, it's it's going to be a good day. So, yeah, chopping down wood can be done with forests. But I like to destroy the village, personally. I think it's a fun way. So, uh, yeah. Um, deferred, do you think uh, Bedrock will surpass Java? Oh, Bedrock has surpassed Java in the numbers. The only way in which I think Java has the win is culturally speaking. More people who are often aged now where they make an impact on the games industry, you know, by being a journalist or a YouTuber or a, you know, a person who exists in, in the world talking to their children maybe. More people play Java than, uh, play, more people, more of those people play Java and Bedrock on a cultural sense. But in terms of the actual numbers, there is like, you know, eight Bedrock players for every one Java player. It's, um, it's actually insane, the, the gap between the two. And, yeah, I, I think in terms of the active players, it's even crazier. I think the actual games, in terms of, like, if you don't think about, like, just stats, you think about, what about the quality of the games? I'm not asking about the sales. Um, the quality of the games is obviously, the goal is to bring them perfectly into parity, but then once they are in parity, you'd expect that Java does better with user content because of that, you know, like people who are making content usually have different preferences reasons, but also because of the fact that, oh, so should we just go to sleep? Just get, get through the day? Yeah, we should. Let's, let's just do it. Let's sell one more batch of sticks. So four, see, look at that. Four, four wood equals 16 planks equals 32 sticks which I will now sell to this fella right here before going to sleep and enjoying my trades, which reset tomorrow morning. So I need to move a bed over here, I think. Should I move this guy's bed? Oh, it's my bed now. In fact, let's make the bed blue. Oh, I didn't actually pick up the lapis in the end. <laughs> I definitely mined the lapis. I don't know where it went. But yeah, let's uh, simply kill this zombie. Shouldn't have used the axe. Sleep in front of him. Oh, I cannot do that. There are monsters nearby. Sleep in front of him. And then tomorrow, it all improves more. So, um, I think the support for Java will end once parity is close enough. I think it's just too controversial a move for, for Microsoft to actually make. Um, the, I'm sure someone in a, in a business room has somewhere said, let's just end support for Java. 
But you've got to consider that not only would they be impacting all the people, you know, like Java YouTubers and, um, you know, journal not only are they going to impact, culturally speaking, all the people who only play Java and don't care about learning Bedrock, to be honestly frank. Um, yeah, I, uh, I think that not only do they have to worry about that, they also have to consider that a lot of employees, the people who make Minecraft, even of the people who play, who make uh, Minecraft Bedrock Edition, a healthy majority play Java. There's there's a, there's like a decent number who will play Bedrock, but like the, the Mojang employee server, they've got a Java server, they don't have a Bedrock realm. <laughs> uh, yeah. And you can, you know, you kind of endlessly point these out, but there's like, uh, there is one version of the game with the, with the supremacy in the in, in one way, and there is another version of the game that not as many people play. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Buying that much redstone feels dumb, but we need it so we can buy the gold. And once we buy the gold, we can buy some glowstone or some lapis. I guess would be a better deal. And then we can start buying emeralds or buying uh, ender pearls. So yeah, we're just gonna keep destroy. We're gonna continue to destroy uh, villager houses. Especially the ones that are further away. Ultimately, this village doesn't need to exist. It is a great source of wood, and I'll be doing that. <laughs> I love destroying Minecraft structures. I could I could genuinely destroy every structure all day every day, and I'd have a great day. See, um, so uh Red Redhead Forester says if they stop supporting Java, I'll stop playing. I've only ever played Java and frequently use Linux. See, you you are the reason though, like, there's there's so much to lose and not honestly a lot to gain. What they gain is they would free up development resources that could focus on bedrock. But, like, that isn't worth as much. The, I think the equation you've got to imagine is is when, when there becomes more gain from ending it than loss from not, that's when they'll do so. And right now the losses are high and the gains, yeah, they're, they're mid, you know. They're, they're, they're medium at best. Speaking of uh, medium at best, I... Um, so, Kat, have you noticed the Mojang game scrolls disappeared from the Google Play Store? Oh, that's an interesting... I, I, I'm, I'm really... Okay, so I'm going to go on record as saying this again. I really am fairly sure they're making a card game. And I'm excited by that. I love card games. I can play them all day, every day. And so if it turns out that Mojang is making a card game, um, I would be very excited. I, I think we're getting more and more evidence that they are. And there's not a lot of evidence saying they're not. But yeah, we have to wait and see. I, I don't think anyone would have guessed an, a real-time strategy game was on Mojang's to-do list. And I, I also don't think anyone would guess that if they did make it, it would do poorly. Because I is, is a card game up the Mojang player's alleyway? I don't know. Also, um, yeah, I, uh, I hate Bedrock. I Java has uh, pretty much everything. Discontinuing Java isn't the same as getting rid of it. Yeah, but the uh, even discontinuing it is a very big step for a lot of the community, right? You... It's all about optics as much as anything else. A lot of Java players would probably be happy if you discontinued uh, Bedrock so you could focus on Java. I think a lot of people would say, yeah, why don't you just do that? Isn't it weird uh, that you run this this version of the game? Um, a, a lot of people, like for, for all the talk on this channel we have for updates and how great they are, a lot of people have no clue when the last Minecraft update came out. They don't really care. Uh, they, they just play Minecraft every day. And some days they pop on and there are new features. I don't know if that's most people. I'd say a large large number at the very least. Um, and that's one of those audiences that... Oh, sorry. Collateral damage. Apologies about that. Uh, th those are one of the groups that Mojang has to consider with updates. It's, it's kind of wild to say. But like, yeah, Mojang has to consider not just people who do play updates, but people who actively don't. Because they're getting the update whether they want it or not. Um, it's funky, but you know what isn't funky when you dive into it. So now we are going to eat some bread. I'm going to clear up my inventory some more. I still just have a lot of like garbage sitting in there, taking up spaces. Like, do I need a stone pickaxe if I have an iron one? Maybe in the future. Not right now. And once we've freed up some more spaces, we make the last of the planks or wood into planks and then we go crazy on sticks that should be enough to get a lot of emeralds i don't know how many of these i've actually sold emeralds to today so we're going to be a little bit cautious in each of these a bunch with you too yeah that seems good you really don't want to use the maximum number of trades for each villager if you can avoid it because then they get more expensive the next day it's a big problem um 
But yeah, that seems good to me. I'll sell a few... Oh, I'll go chop down a few more sticks now, because I've got 50 emeralds. Almost enough to get the ender pearls I need. Because now we go with this guy. We have to spend a lot of emeralds getting to that tier. Oh, actually, we could probably smelt enough gold. I bet that would be just as quickly, uh, just as quick at this point. Yeah, if we've got three more gold and we can sell it anyway, it might make more sense to buy things with emeralds. Because, yeah, yeah, that, that, I think that does make sense. Let's go mine a little bit more gold. Or we could just... Do you think there's gold in the top of that, actually? Oh, I can't even see it anymore. The the ruined portal usually has gold in. Gold is a good source of money because it literally is money. Um, if they fix combat and redstone, bedrock will be better than Java. Yeah, a lot of people feel that way. I, I, I think this is... I think the secret to making bedrock better than Java is say that you want parity between versions. If you wanted to make one better ver version better than the other, it would be... So, yeah, exact parity. Same with, like, anything else. If you want to be better than something that you can't do naturally. If you want to be in charge of what's better, say that you want equality and, you know, like, uh, once you've reached equality, then say, like, well, true equality would be adjusting for this and making sure that this is something to compensate for the natural lack of equality over there. Um, you know, like, I, I don't know, I think, uh, not to go too crazy, but if you look at the, you know, like, the countries behind the Iron Curtain that, like, had this goal of, like, true... True. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, we gotta... That's fine. That's entirely acceptable. I've always thought it's interesting that, like, places that actually claim to have cured the inequality problem, what they actually do is they just kind of, like, redefine what perks the people at the top get so that they can still do things. Overwhelmingly, every society operates under this. There are some people uh, who have some things, some people who get other things. How do you make sure that it's as equal as possible? Is a very hard problem to solve. How do you solve the problem of there are two games developed in different engines that have very different needs? How do you keep them any amount the same? Is a very hard problem to solve. I don't know how Mojang would do it. And so yeah, I I think deferred rendering is nice. Was the conclusion of that whole point? <laughs> anyway, uh, speaking of conclusions, I don't want to dive too deep into history now. Um, you know, history streams are fun. I love history. What I also love about history is um, are Java sales going down or are Bedrock popular? So Minecraft doesn't break down the sales difference between Bedrock and Java anymore. They just say, they, they said recently after a long amount of silence that they broke 300 million sales. They didn't say when they broke 300 million sales, just that they had done so. And um, okay, so now we're going to buy or sell these. And yeah, I, th I think we can do the, the rest of this via buying. Just buy a few lapis lazulis here and there. Hey, speaking of buying, finally. Finally, I'm able, I'm able to catch a stream live again. Merry streamers to all. Merry streamers to you. Merry streamers to me. Merry streamers to everybody except for that one guy called Meme. Merry Christmas to us. Um, no, more seriously, uh, thank you very much, SFRP. I, uh, I hope people are enjoying streamers. It's a... Uh, it's one of my favorite things to. Uh, it, it's a fun time of year where we're like, okay, let's let's go for this. Let's uh, let's hang out, do some fun things each day. I've got some fun ideas for what I want to do with these streams for the rest of the uh, the festive period. I hope you're all down with that. But uh, yeah. Also, Toy Cat, where is your Christmas jumper? Uh, this is a Christmas jumper. If I just wear this hat, there we go. Problem solved. You're welcome. I, <laughs> I I think I need to put this hat on with my with my elf. Uh, suit at some point. But yeah, I was thinking, um, actually, if you want to hear about one of my ideas, it's, uh, it's a very tentative one. But I had two very silly ideas, chat. Um, one of them is, I think, you know, maybe it's like a January idea, like a, you know, like an off-season idea. Maybe it's, maybe December is the best time. But something I want to do is I want to, um, I want to do a stream where I do sleepless hardcore. Because the problem with 100 days is that people sleep through all the nights. When I do 100 days, I do that. So, And so it makes the challenge take as little as 17 hours and 40 minutes. If you can sleep perfectly every single night. I did 100 days, but it's actually all 100 days on YouTube. And it was uh, it was crazy, to, to put it mildly. And so, um, yeah, basically my idea, uh, correct or incorrect... Is what if we 
did 100 days live, but also didn't skip the nights. I think that would create a 35 hour and 20 minute <laughs> live stream, right? Right? And if you did that, um, then I think, I think we looked it up and you're within a few minutes of the world record. So you do 102 days live with no sleep. Uh, I guess no real life sleep either. And then I, then you'd get a world record. I, that's, that, that's an idea I had for like, you know, I wouldn't have Minecraft videos for most of a week if I did that. Or at least, oh, I, I, I traded with him too many times. Okay, let's get back to selling. So, uh, the other idea I had, um, now this is a classic one, chat. I, you, we've done before, like, oh yeah, for every blank, you know, for every tip we do X, for every, uh, you know, member we build a road, or for every five dollars that we build a road, I think one was. And so one I thought uh, could be a logical evolution of that. Okay, so I'm gonna buy these now until we can buy enderpearls. And now we've got enough enderpearls to just beat the game, basically. We can make eye offenders, everything's good. I'm gonna store these in a chest somewhere because I think 10 is a, a healthy number to buy. And now we're going to have to go to the nether the bare minimum amount to get this done. Or in fact, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna go to the nether, see if we find the fortress and if we don't, we're going to travel in the overworld till we do. I'm going to take full advantage of the overworld for this. And that is my plan. The closest to dead pieces of armor are my leggings and my boots. And also my helmet. So I'll make a helmet and I'll make some leggings out of iron. And also, let's see what you've got for me, actually. You got anything fun? Anything good? You got some... Ooh, a cherry sapling. You know, I, I feel like I have enough uh, resources that I can do that. Let's grow a cherry tree right here. I've got the bone mill for it. Do you, do you like it, chat? Is it beautiful? It's kind of overshadowing that guy's house. Do you think he's gonna be mad? Is he gonna get the council to tear it down because I don't have planning permission? Anyway, uh, so my second idea is, um, the second idea I have is uh, for the month of December, is what if we did a member fun? I, my, my, my friend Prow uh, did something like this, where every time someone becomes a member, the stream gets extended by X length. Um, and, cause I, you know, I'm, I think one of the things about memberships is like, you know, it's it's hard to... Uh, a lot of the times it like ends up being like a gifty thing. So what if it is a stream that every time you become a member, you add a, an amount of time to? Even if it's like 30 seconds or 60 seconds. Um, I think it'd be fun. I think that's a... It's an idea I have. Maybe we'll regret having, but I... I think it's a fun idea. So we, we might just do it. I... Uh -huh, uh -huh, I love it, says Chris H. Um, so Kat, uh, why are you coming up with the best ways to drain you of your sanity and energy? <laughs> you know, on YouTube, you've got to have a unique selling point. And my selling point is what if you don't have, a, what if you don't have sanity anymore? Wouldn't you be more interesting? So yeah, let's now make the leggings and the helmet. So that's my plan. So that we can go to the nether with some higher rate of success. So leggings on. And helmet also on. We'll put the backup in here just so like future me if I need it. I can come here and I can grab some goodies. And we'll see what we find. I'm going to grab grab the saddle in case I find a horse or something. Because we might just travel across the world as our backup plan. It's a, it's a weird backup plan, but it might just work. Sounds fun. I'll be the only grey name in the sea of green. <laughs> um... See, I feel like you gotta also sufficiently promote it, right? But also, the more I promote it, the more, the longer the stream goes. So I've gotta. There's a lot of factors to consider. Also, these shaders look gross compared to Java. Hope they fix them. Oh, you think so? That's 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 a reasonable stance to take. But um, yeah, I, I think uh, the it's it's a reasonable take that yep, this this is. Not as good as what you have seen elsewhere. But also, I think it's an unfair comparison. Because this is like a set of characteristics which later could be fine-tuned. For now, the fact that it can look like this ever is kind of fun, though, to a platform that doesn't have any setting like it. But yeah, I, I, I agree. It needs needs more work to be good, good, good. See, so yeah, I need to make that closer to here. You know what? No, I don't. I, I, every time I make things close, I regret it because I end up spilling and making a mess. And so let's not spill and make a mess today. Also, where's the lava? Why is it over there? Okay. Let's place lava here. 
Okay, I'm spill. Okay, I'm spilling, and I'm making a mess, but it's fine. I'm just gonna make some holes for the water to drain into. And then I'm gonna make another bucket. And this is a terrible, terrible, terrible way to build a whole never portal. But it is the safest way if you if you don't trust yourself. It's important to recognize that fact. My uh, my graphics card isn't supported, so I can't use these shaders. Uh, fun fact, Jimmy T, you uh, you're probably thinking of RTX. Uh, these will work on any device. This is the incredible thing. Someone said they need to add this to Switch. It's like, it will work on Switch as soon as the update comes out for Switch. It works on Xbox, it works on Android, and it works on anything else with previews. I, I, I want to say iOS has previews, but I feel like I'm getting that mixed up. Um, it truly is incredible, in my opinion. So now we go in, we grab two more bits for the floor. It's going to cause some weird things to happen down there. And once we've done that, we grab some more, and we make the ceiling, and we got a whole finished portal. We'll be wonderful and good, and all the problems in the world will be gone. Uh, we need to make a petition for YouTube to allow Dasher to be a member. I'm surprised the Russian sanctions are still ongoing. It's, uh, it's one of those things where, whether it is a tactical decision or not, by, you know, maybe, maybe this is the plan from Russia to allow themselves to not participate in the global economy and have a good reason to do so. But it's one of those, like, by, I, you know, now that, now that, like, we have shown that the sanctions aren't achieving what we have wanted to do, what we are showing is, like, oh, yeah, we are willing to hurt ordinary people in a country so that we can hurt the government of that country. And I, I don't know that I love that. I, I'm, I'm a big believer in try not to have collateral damage. But I think everyone is until you given the alternative, right? Like, we could... There are lots of things we accept, you know, bad and evil from because the alternative is much worse. Uh, speaking of alternative being worse, I try to spend as little time as possible in the never, and you're about to find out why. Oh, okay, what am I seeing? Okay, it's dark. I'm in a cave. I'm really low down. And I'm gonna... So here's the worst bit about this experience I'm in right now. Ignoring that I have to light my way to see the never. <laughs> um, I'm below a, a sea of lava right now. Which means I've got a very dangerous time getting out of there. Also, it's very, very laggy. Um, you're doing a bad job of avoiding the never, says Pout. You know what? Thank you. I need to go into the never for as little... Okay. As little time as possible, right? Okay, so we're just gonna... We're just gonna, we're gonna patch that in. Uh, just as quickly as we can. There we go. It's gone. Okay, let's try that again, shall we? That almost went well, but we made a mistake. And so we're going to learn from that mistake. I'm going to stay away from the blocks that I'm mining. And we're going to just hope there's not a sea of lava above me. I know there must be, logically. But if we just believe a little bit harder, maybe that can solve our problem. Also, I don't want to be crouching. Okay, the sea of lava is at negative 32. Okay, never mind. I'm not negative 32, by the way. I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. It's over, it's over, it's over. Okay. So what are my odds of surviving this? Um, that, that's how good they are. Okay, so in the overworld, I need to sleep anyway. As long as my ender pearls didn't burn, we're great. If my ender pearls burn, I've still got the ability to recover them quickly. <sighs> so yeah, that, that, that was a entirely avoidable issue. I would blame that on lag more than I would blame anything else. But ultimately, I'd blame that on my own skill level to not properly lower that down. Uh, when you're in the never, the same render distance applies and just doesn't work correctly, is my experience. So I'm going to now grab a second bed. I think I have one lying around here somewhere. Oh, if I don't, if I don't have a bed lying around, I know a group of people who will have one that I can borrow. <laughs> you know, this this bed isn't even really a bed anymore. So is it, is it even taking a bed at this point? Then we're going to dye it blue and put it near our never portal. Skill issue, says Liam Venom. Exactly. I was told you're avoiding the never. The first thing I see when joining the stream is you joining the never. I was lied to. Have you ever considered that, like, people who are avoiding, uh, say, smoking, smoke every day. People who are avoiding crack do it every day. People who are avoiding watching Toy Cat live streams manage to show up here regardless, apparently. Um, I missed the discourse about that. But um, what I do think is interesting is I don't think my Xbox can handle this performance. You should give it a try. I... I would love to... One of the kind of, like, downsides of, like, a 
bigger community on the internet. It's one of these, like, uh, it'd be fun to be like, yeah, anyone who wants to join, let's, like, open up a realm. But we're limited to, like, 10 people. May there be more than 10 people who want to see their stuff that way. But find a friend who uh, has access to this on their PC. And then try and join it from your Xbox. And you'll find out something interesting, I think. Also, all my stuff fell through the portal. That's fun. My diamond axe is there. Okay, so as long as my stuff didn't burn- No! Okay, I got the enderpearls. They didn't- Something burnt. Uh, but my enderpearls didn't. And that's good. So yeah, this is- This is why you avoid the nether, ultimately. This is- It's nothing good ever happens in the nether. My- uh, Yeah, I've got my diamond axe. I've got my tools. I lost something important, I feel like. But I can see again. And so now, if we want to make it out of this hellhole, we just have to try another nether portal. Like, this one is not good. <laughs> and that, that that is the the life you doom yourself to when you try to avoid it. Is sometimes you get a bad nether... I guess we could... Okay. So another way we could avoid it is we could just go this way a bunch. Um, so we dig a real long tunnel, right? I'm going to use my gold pickaxe just because it's here. In front of me. We dig a real long tunnel this way. Uh, placing appropriate torching along the way. And then once I think there's a chance that I'm not below the lava pit anymore. Then we could start mining upwards again. And seeing where that gets me. It is likely that I am still below the lava pit. Because lava pits are very big. But you always have to try something like this. I think this is one of the cruelest things that Minecraft can do to you. Is spawn you <laughs> right below lava, uh, but it will do it to you. And if it does, um, in the case of tr trying to spend less time in the nether, GG. Bad, bad, bad nether. That's fine. I'll find a good nether. Where do you find good nevers? Well, where did my bed go? By? I feel like I had... There it is. So, yeah, in the case of what we gotta do. Um, but yeah, unlike RTX, this is usable by everyone. That is the biggest difference. That is the most important one, I would say, too. So we're going to go find a horse now. And then we're just going to go for a 1,000 block journey on that horse. Uh, or we could just go straight to the stronghold, I guess. It's not a terrible idea either. Um, by the way, Cody Brummer, Brunner, 33, just hit 1.2 gigabytes in my long-term world. And my Xbox One X is lagging. Will Series X fix this? I'm building a zoo and I think you should try it in your Let's Play. Happy holiday. So Cody Brunner, uh, 33. I can give you the good news or I can give you the bad news. So the good news is the Series X will improve it. Um, but if it's a file size issue, it won't improve by 10 times or as much as the power difference between the consoles is. Um, I would say you're realistically looking at an, a performance. You're, you're going to notice a lot of things improve, but your world won't magically fix itself. Uh, but it can it will always be better, right? It's, it's, it's your, your, you won't be worse off. But yeah, I, I went from an Xbox One to a Series X. And it was noticeable, the improvement, even on my Let's Play World, which is a similar file size. But again, not 10X as it should be. Because the Xbox One X is just, or the Xbox Series X, is just running the Xbox One version of the game. But slightly, you know, higher red distances and the like. Um... Oh, I knew there was the uh, old RTX shaders, but uh, also I wonder if they'll finish making the shader stuff work. Shaders being a level that Super Duper Graphics Pack was supposed to be like. Yeah, I think that's definitely a goal. Uh, no way not. Uh, there's no way that they are not... Get, they're not They're not aiming for something like that. I think the Super Duper Graphics Pack is like the biggest thing that they didn't deliver on. And I think a lot of people, a lot of my Mojang people probably don't like that. And again, good. Also, you can't scoop up lava correctly when you've got deferred shit rendering. I have no idea what could possibly be causing that. But it means that, yeah, getting pork chops is hard. Speaking of pork chops, are you gonna... Uh, how is it going, Toy Cat? Uh, thank you, Jar Jar Fail. Um, things are going good. Thank you for checking. I am... I feel like um, a little bit... If I... I, I don't know, one of my real thoughts of you. Also, are you going to continue Lego Fortnite World? Uh, I, this, I, I have this, like, paralysis that happens when a new game comes out. The most important day to play it is day one. The second most important day is day two. 
It's day four now. The game is old news. <laughs> it, it, for, for a lot of people, it actually is, too. Like, if I play the game now, there'll be people who are like, it's okay, cat. Don't you know that you got to activate the jet rocket thruster before you do this section? Um, so, yeah, maybe I'll play some more. I am not going to commit to anything right now, though. So, first of all, by the way, if we just come here first, we'd be in a real good situation. We'd have some extra iron and some apples. Can make those into gold if I want to later. Um, we even pick up their, their hay, turn that into some food. Oh, there's a horse. It's a baby horse, but I can make a baby horse into something better. Okay, so we'll ride the horse into the sunset right after I... Yeah, I'll trap... Oh, wait, is that a regular horse over there? It is. So let's just stop breaking all of these. Let's drop my lava bucket on the ground, and let's go. Okay, so this is a slow horse. I don't want him... Okay, well, I guess he'll, he'll do. <laughs> He loves me, so I guess I have to love him now. Um, but yeah, Cody uh, Brunner, I to answer your question, Series X should help. Hope it does. Uh, thank, thank you for the for the tip. Appreciate it a lot. So I'm gonna try another horse. Oh, never, never accept the first horse. Give another one a try. This guy moves much faster. I want him instead. Uh, and wonderful, he wants me too. So now we switch horse. Grab the saddle. Switch horse back. It's funny. I was looking for saddles for so long, and then I found this guy. And now I'm going to use him right after I check out if there is a stronghold below this village. If there is, that would save me a lot of pain. So dig straight down. Pro tip, try not to dig straight down. Try to instead dig double blocks down like so. Um, you can still die this way if you're not careful, but I'm going to try to be careful. I was wondering if you want to item a day stream. I was watching a one item a day stream and I kept thinking this is because of the deferred rendering. Um... Yeah, I, uh, by the way, that one of my, can, I, you know, actually, while you're here, so chat, I, um, I think one of the worst things a creator can do is, like, share their side of things, like, behind the curtain. I think a lot of people find that to be, like, I don't know, like, offensive. It takes away some of the magic. So, you know, I, I, I apologize right now. But, uh, I'd, I'd love to hear, if you're watching this right here, um, I... I think one of the... Also, uh, will they add hardcore to the update? Yes. Would bring a ton of YT attention to Bedrock. It is it is crazy that the most popular, like, rise in content affects only Sharper Edition Minecraft. And that proves... The fact that, like, very few people complain about that is proof of just how many people play, you know, jar, uh, play, play Java exclusively. The point where they don't even know that there's a whole thing that half the game, you know, player base can't use. Also, oh, it's getting spooky and dark in here. I hate that. Also, I'm going to run out of pickaxe. Um, I can't make myself... I guess once the pickaxe runs out, I'm just going to mine straight down for the last few blocks of the pickaxe. If I if I fall and die, I fall and die, chat. Oh, okay. I didn't die, though. So, I mean, still feeling pretty smart, personally. <laughs> oh, I might die. Never mind. Okay. Not feeling smart just yet. Okay, let me out of this hell. I'm going to get right through here. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna hide in this corner over here, and I'm gonna make sure I've still eaten. And ouch! I'm just gonna make sure. Oh, okay, this is terrible. This is awful. Just gonna crouch and attack. And I'm guessing there's no stronghold down here, by the way. I'm gonna make that assumption right now. Oh, I did dig down from the center of the village, so maybe maybe it's not a fair fair point to raise. But yeah. Oh, okay. Let's let's hang out in this hole for a little bit. Just face upwards in case the spider gets to me. Let's just hang out here. This is my biggest fear in real life happening in Minecraft. Anyway, one of the worst things you do as creators is, like, open behind the curtain. One of my favorite, like, one of the challenges I thought people would love was the one block a day thing. And a lot, everyone who watched it is like, yeah, it's great. Every, all, all the watch time stats say it's great. But what, what, it's, what, what YouTube tells me is, like, yeah... <laughs> People love this video when they click it, but no one chooses to click it. And looking at it, it's like, yeah, actually, it's not a very exciting title in the grand scheme of things. And so if anyone's watching this right now, and you've got, like, that fun... You've got the brain for... You, we use the word clickbait to mean, like, appealing title that people want to click on. If you have a good idea for a clickbait title for my I get one item every day, how few days can I beat Minecraft in? I would love to hear it, because I, I am not good enough at that. I, you know, my, uh... Like, 40% of being a YouTuber is being able to come up with compelling titles. Um, I'm, I'm always like, I always think it's crazy that I'm like, ah, let's, 
Something I should be spending more time on. But I like to spend time working on fun ideas, etc. Uh, also, I click on all your videos, so biased. You know, anyone, someone who's... <laughs> maybe that's something I should say, like, okay. If you only click on some of my videos, but not others, tell me what would make you want to watch that video. Um, I, uh, frugal Minecraft lol, says Dustin Ripley. <laughs> I like the idea of frugal Minecraft, actually. Um, Minecraft, but we're, we're only allowed so much. Also, Merry Stream, Miss Smurf Bite. I can't believe I missed your tip. Man, Smurf Bite, it's real cool to see an OG name like that after all this time. Um, I, uh, I remember years ago getting a code for a, for a small piece of Minecraft bedrock something. Um, it is cool that, like, a small thing like that, all these years later, um, sticks in there. I like to remember that. Whenever, whenever I remember something really kind from my childhood, I'm like, ah, oh, I should be nice to people. It makes a, makes a lasting difference on them, apparently. Made a, made a lasting difference on me when someone was nice to me. Maybe I should be nice to people. Then I realize, you know, no one deserves niceness, and then I'm, then I'm terrible to people again. I mean, I, I hope, I hope I'm not. But you know, you, you get the point. Also, and speaking of the point, let's make a crafting table and let's make another pickaxe right now. We can probably make two pickaxes, just commit to the idea that we're going to need more than one. Yeah, sure. And then let's also commit to the idea that we don't accept garbage. One plank, why? 14 andesite, don't need you. Granite and spider eyes and all this noise. All seems very silly. So, yeah, we are... We're going to keep on going for a journey until we find another batch of lava far enough from the first one. Where did my horse go, by the way? I thought that was my horse, but it was just a cow with with decent lighting on. Um, honestly, I thought I, I thought the title and thumbnail were good. Uh, maybe just a more niche thing. Minecraft, but it's all taking place in my head. <laughs> okay, let's do a Minecraft playthrough, but it's like D&D. We're like, roll D20. Ooh, looks like you're not successful today. Also, look how good the shadows are. Like, this is such a tiny detail to me. But look, I my horse has a shadow over there. Look to the left of the screen. You can see the shadow on my horse. It's incredible. Uh, maybe it's not the title. Maybe it's the thumbnail. Yeah, I I, I, I like my new title. I, but I, I don't even know what would be a better thumbnail, right? I, and that's another thing that I... I, I, I'm going to spend time working on, but just, you know, if you are watching and you're like, oh, I have a really good idea, I would love to hear it. Critical uh, fail on avoiding the never. <laughs> you know, I, I tried my best. I rolled a d20 to not go to the never, and I got a nat one, and so I guess rip. Anyway, so speaking of rip, I probably should. I'm going to, given how bad it is when you don't have a bed, I'm going to go back to the village to sleep. And then try and like cross my Minecraft world and then go to the never somewhere else. That's my plan. So, um, I, uh, I think that, uh, I have a stream idea. Maybe try to beat the dragon in the world with no end, um, on hard difficulty instead of hard courses, Tyler. <laughs> oh, don't remind me of that. Okay, so, uh, again, I'm, I, I'm, I'm a big believer that hardcore means hardcore. But if I was to write an exception, can we be fair that I did that stream, I think it was two days after my mother died in real life. I I was a little, I'd been out of the world for a little bit. I think I'd just gone on a week trip not long before. Like a lot of, a lot of things were against me doing well in that stream. And then I figured, you know what? Now that I'm just getting back into Minecraft after such a big thing, how about we go fight the dragon on a world with no end that I've never done before with no practice? Because of course, how would you practice that besides doing the stream? <laughs> so I just, I felt like I was doing fine and then I died. So I mean, Minecraft, but I can only get one item per day. OMG, watch the reaction at the end. <laughs> I can't stat, that, that is one of my things I have never done. And I don't, I think that if you put, if you genuinely, if I did put that title, right, which a lot of people do on stuff like Facebook and TikTok, you will gather an audience of people who are not smart enough to click something because they think it will be good. They will only know to click it because you write, please click this. In the, like, do you want to cultivate an audience of people who don't know how YouTube works? 
Like, yes. I, I, I you know, one of, one of my big pet peeves that genuinely makes me think less for YouTube. I'm like, oh, you're not a good YouTuber. You just heard a tip about how to boost engagement and you'll ruin my experience to do it. Is say, make sure you stay tuned to the end to see how I did. And it's like, what else do I assume would happen at the end? If I, do you think that I watch videos and assume that at the end you randomly start playing another one? Although, fun fact, I started watching uh, Howcast recently. It's one of those, like, YouTube channels that was really successful in, like, 2000 and 2011 or something. But anyway, it's, um, they've got YouTube shorts where they just, like, change the topic midway through. And they're like, oh, it's the best we can do. Um, I don't know, I think it's fascinating. Minecraft, but please click this. <laughs> Have a, I, I want to do that as a bit of an experiment chat. Let's, like, change an old video to Minecraft, but please click this. Minecraft, but the, but just, just... Just please click on my video, please. Uh, let's let's see if begging people results in a higher click-through rate. I'm gonna do that right now, actually. I'm gonna grab one of these bets, by the way. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna do this right now. Okay, okay. Minecraft, but please click on my video. I'm desperate. I need to feed my family. Um, so we go to live. We'll, we'll go find a video that no one has clicked on recently. Not very popular, right? So, um, what, what do we got here? We got, um... Okay, uh, let's find a nice casual. Okay, okay, we got a stream. I am going to. It's got a, it's got a thumbnail. Minecraft, but please click this video. I beg you. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna public that video, and we're gonna we're gonna do an experiment. It's had zero views in the last. Uh, oh, it had one view in the last thirty days. How did someone- no, it's had 14 views in the last 30 days. So we're gonna- we're gonna see. Just a test. Uh, we're, we're gonna see- I- I would hope that no one will click that video. In fact, I imagine fewer people will click that video. But, um, yeah, if- if- if not. <laughs> we'll see. A Minecraft and Philosophy Talk. Uh, that's my plan for my next stream. Also, should we go to the Never here? I assume it will link me to the same portal. Eh, uh, it can help to try though, right? Couldn't hurt to try. So we'll make a bridge over there. Also, these are weird villages. I don't know what's happening with them, but I don't like it. Yeah, let's let's make a portal over there. We've gone far enough now that maybe something different will happen. So we'll bridge across using Nevrak and then uh, some cobble, just so I can get my horse over. Actually, I guess I just don't need to bridge over, but we're going to do it anyway. Bridge, bridge, bridge across, because I like to do it. This is a song that I sing. Um, I'll click right now. It says... Um, also, will PS4 ever get shaders? Yeah, you can use the shaders right now. Fun fact, if you'd like to. Um, you just you just have to join someone's world who has it in the preview. You know, actually, you can't do it right now. I lied. You have to be on Xbox if you want to do it right now. Minecraft, click this video or else. Do it now. <laughs> Minecraft, but the frets get slightly more incessant. This is a good idea, I'm sure. Speaking of good ideas, thank you. Wait, let me... I'll put this up there. Thank you, Jar Jar Fail. Guys, uh, hunt down that video and watch it to suddenly boost it so it becomes not algorithmically dead. <laughs> I wonder if that works that way. If like um, enough people watch an old video, my YouTube will be like, "Well, clearly this video is so good, everyone must be recommended it." Is that is that is that the new meta? Name my videos ridiculous things from the past so people go back and watch them. You know, I found I found something genius now. Don't don't ruin my secret. Okay, so. Now we're gonna make uh, the lava go over here. Hopefully, because it's on the other side, I can't mess this up too bad. If I do mess it up, I'm gonna claim I didn't want to go to the Never anyway, um, which is believable because it is my title. So hopefully, we got a we got a good plan here. Oh no, I put that in the wrong place. Ooh, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to mine this obsidian with an iron pickaxe now. So uh, we've got some spare time all of a sudden. So um, you might have a house fire if you don't click this video. That is literally the algorithm. Um, so the actual algorithm, that's what people think the algorithm is, I think. The actual algorithm is just about working out. Uh, I, I think it, I, to be fair, actually. Okay, so there is a big mysterious box in, when a video is new, let's say I have 10,000 subscribers. It shows a thousand of my subscribers, that video, to work out what percent of them are likely to click on it. And then it can work out that, well, okay, only the most hardcore subscribers click this video. So let's only recommend it to the most hardcore. Rather than rather than having to show the video to 9,000 subscribers who honestly just don't care, um, they work out that if you show it to a smaller sample, 
you can save that. Because, you know, it used to be back in the day, your subscription feed showed you everything. And, you know, some YouTubers would upload, like, some weird promo or, like... It used to be a thing. I, I, I didn't ever do it. And I, I wonder if I should have just cashed in easier. But, um... Uh, channel... YouTube... Um, like, games companies would pay you to upload a trailer to your channel. Because your subscribers would see it and, you know, like, you'd basically be able to advertise to them directly. And so YouTube removed that avenue um, by making it so that, um, obviously, you only see certain videos in your subscription feed that are algorithmically decided. But when it comes to, like, videos you're not subscribed to, it's just like, yeah, they take the chance randomly on some videos. And it's a big question as to how. Are we not avoiding the never, says Chinkin? I have to go to the never at least for a few minutes. So I'm trying to minimize the never. That's my... That's my goal. I'm not- I'm not avoiding the nevers in don't go. I'm spending as little time in the never as possible. Um, honestly, we should just- we should just fully avoid the never, maybe. Maybe we'd have a better time in our life. But yeah, let's put that out. Let's see what's in the never over here. Uh, did you check the chest, says Bird for Life? Funnily enough, I didn't even check it. Also, we're in the same cave, and that's the worst, because now it's gonna take me all the way back over there, and my horse is- Oh, that was a bad idea. And that was a very bad idea. I don't know why I did that. I, I'm so far away. <laughs> I I just teleported myself like 500 blocks. Up. Like, that's fine. That's great. You know, avoiding the never, not going so well. You know, can we just get some blazers in the overworld? Bad never, says Stab Asher. I, that is one of my, if I, if there is one bug that annoys me, it is the way that never portals link. And it might be intended behavior, but it sucks as intended behavior. Um, stream four months ago, says Alex XC. How did so many people find it so quickly? I, f I figured I'd pick a nice vague one so no one would spot it. Apparently it doesn't work that way. Um, the lighting looks really flat. Also, did you hear about the patch notes? They said they were discontinuing updates on older iOS beta, uh, allowing more Minecraft for all platforms. Yeah, there's a, a lot of people always find that controversial. And it's like, uh, who's playing I, I like Minecraft and an iPhone an iPhone 5s and is like oh no but I need the latest updates it's a it's an interesting tale of like Minecraft I think the problem of why oh look at that my shield is, is a shadow but not my bucket I think it's an interesting tale of Minecraft's big problem uh, with bedrock is because they make it available for everything. The low end they're optimizing for, i.e. the best version, because it's they're making sure everything works, uh, is on a mobile phone. And the high end that they make the coolest features available for, if they can't be optimized, I'm sorry if you're hearing all of this, by the way. But the highest end they're like, you know, like hoping for is the PC. And so I feel like the, the consoles get kind of squeezed in the middle there. Like, well, it's not perfectly optimized because it, it, it runs fine enough. Um, but yeah, also uh, dedicated fans. Very dedicated fans. So, um, yeah, now I need to find my my ruin portal. And I need to find it quickly because the sun will set and I'll get lost. Uh, Minecraft, but I never stop complaining would be a video that I would watch. <laughs> Minecraft, but the complaints don't stop. That's, you know, okay, how about that? As just a rant about, um, a, a, a rant about various systems in the game. That's a fun idea. It's a fun idea I like a lot. Uh, not gonna lie, the lighting looks more visually pleasing than RTX. At least they didn't make everything look like plastic. I think a lot of people... So, I think over here is where the ruin portal was. I think it was over this river here. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. Do I, do I see it? I don't see it. Over there. There we go. Okay. So, that's the good news. We're not We're not entirely screwed. I've got my ender pearls. And I've got my, my belief. So, um... I love the bouncy shadow the shield casts. Yeah, it makes it almost worth running a shield, I have to say. It makes it almost worth running a shield. So, Minecraft, but it's an essay on the history of the German government. <laughs> These are all good ideas for videos, okay? These are all good ideas for videos. Let's, uh, let's, let's work on them all. So, um, asking us for title and thumbnail ideas made me realize how hard it must be. I don't want to be one of those people that's like, Oh, what I do is so hard. I hate that I have the freedom to work on what I want to every day. Because then I have to work out how to make it interesting to other people. But yeah, one of the things that makes the YouTube game kind of hard. 
It kind of actually is that. Is like, yeah, you're not just, you're not just. People think of YouTube and they think of the the video making part, and it's like, oh, you have true creative freedom. Because if you, I the the trick to any job is making it look like what you do is effortless. And so a good YouTuber is just like, yeah, I upload what I want, and then you guys watch it. But every single one of those people is like watching their analytics, being like, oh, people didn't like this. People did like this. You can tell the YouTubers that actually start doing what they want because they, you know, like they start having very mixed amounts of success and start looking very confusing and dare, dare people even say cringy because you're like, oh, but that's, that's not what people subscribe to them for. Ha ha ha. What people did subscribe is this like weird box that can't be properly defined, but when you get it wrong, you should feel real silly anyway. Anyway, speaking of feeling really silly. Uh, I'm gonna keep on heading this way. Maybe I'm gonna use the village actually. Okay, so I'm gonna have to jump over this gap. I'm screwed if I don't make it. Oh, I did it. I wrote an essay about Minecraft and how it's similar to painting as a form of art slash expression, says uh, Hannah Joys. I hope you got good good uh, good points for the essay. Also, Bird for Life, sorry for not checking the chest. I should have done so, huh? I bet there's good stuff in there. Yeah, let's go back and let's check the chest. Let's let's make sure we get that done. And then let's do this. Uh, Minecraft, but I'm average player, where you do everything based on the analytics. <laughs> That's a fun idea. Um, I feel like the Minecraft, but it's democratic streams were a lot of fun. I bet there's some legs in doing that. Um, oh, I should have checked the chest. You were right. So that's okay, that's okay, that's bad. There's a flint and steel though, which I think is statistically worth caring about. And then we're gonna take the two iron pickaxes we have and combine them together and get one better pickaxe. Wonderful. Now let's hope that my horse hasn't died. Um, there she is. All horses are sheep, it's a well-known fact. Good content versus a big audience, that's the question, says Stab Asher. I would go a step even further and say, you can't succeed with just good content or a big audience. Just a big audience and they'll move on near immediately. I uh, There's a lot of YouTubers who come up a lot when talking about 100 days and fake stuff. But there's a lot of people who are just like, yeah, they didn't ever move on to making better stuff. I think, who's the, what's the one guy? Um, he's famous for the, the one meme about gold. But like, there's there are examples of YouTubers who like, yeah, they never worked out that you have to make stuff. And then there's, on the other end, there's people who make really good stuff and no one cares. No one's ever going to find it. There's um there's this concept of, uh, I, I heard this phrase and I don't know if it's common, but the idea of a YouTuber's YouTuber. There are channels, um, there are channels of like 10,000 subscribers that YouTubers love. Um, you're like, it's, it's really good stuff. Like if you know what they're making, it's incredible. But if you can't find an audience for something, then does it matter in the end anyway? It's an interesting question. I don't know the answer. Is there an answer even? Is there a right and a wrong? Um, but the correct answer is you need to work out how to make good stuff that a lot of people want to see. That is the hard thing. If you think about films, it's a similar problem is, in general, it's really easy to make mass market movies. You just, you green light another superhero movie or you remake some 80s classics. You know, we, we, they can, we can make popular movies. And also, it's really easy to make a good movie. You, there's, there's like, you know, foreign movies, and there's, 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 there's artsy pieces every single, you know, like year. But there are very few directors who can churn out a movie that is both mass market and popular, but also that people would like to watch. Also, I'm all the way over here. I, I don't know how I did that, but I think I made a mistake somewhere. Uh, I have been to this village, or it looks exactly like one I have been to, and that's a problem. So we're gonna start going through this now, and see where that takes us. So let's jump across. I put my horse in a boat, but for some reason I can't do that. Does anyone know why my horse won't go in a boat? Think about it. You can't go to the end or the never and some other bizarre things that players don't do. Um, yeah, that, that's that's an interesting point. Yeah, you can only do things that are statistically majority. It's an interesting concept. Uh, it would it would go terribly for you. <laughs> yeah, you get you get bored real fast, huh? Um, that's that's a fun concept. So cat, but if you showed up early for a stream, a whole day if I remember right, but likely I forget. You know that's an interesting way to put it. Today's stream actually arrived about twenty three and a half hours early. You're welcome, internet. Um, you're welcome. I I do my best. Uh, people are always saying that I show up late, and so today, I wanted to show up as early as I humanly could. And now I have done precisely that. 
the, you know, I've got 23 hours of early time to play with. So I'll split that up across being 10 minutes late for the next, you know, what would that be like? 176 live streams. It would be great. So I can't speedy like the horse's apples. Also, we now can make as many torches as we want. I'll just make a decent pile of those. And as long as my horse... Where did my horse go? Where, <laughs> where could he have gone? How, how does he get lost when we're literally tree climbing right now? We're going to continue climbing trees. If only because... Oh, so, ooh. Horses take full damage now? That's the worst. Have they fixed... Wait, is that is that a recent fix? When did that happen? I feel like horses famously didn't take full damage for a while. Have they... Have they removed the best bit about, about bedrock? Is, that, is this what we had to trade in exchange for getting no boat damage? Recently, says TMC. Oh, no. Oh, the worst. Okay, this is... This is what I... This, this, is, this is awful. Should be fixed. I, horses having full damage makes sense. But also ruins the whole point of them, to my mind. Because they're... Like, they do a lot of jumping. They need, they need the full damage reduction. Okay, so let's jump up. I found another ruined portal, and this one won't take me to the same place. And if it does... Then the stream is literally over. I, I don't know what to do. But okay, so we can go in this never. We've just okay, you know, actually, um I I wanna I wanna give a big thank you to you. Oh no, I don't. We've got Oh yeah, I do. I wanna give a big thank you. Um you insisted that I go back to that chest. <laughs> oh never mind, there was someone here. I was just about to say, wow, it was really smart that you know to say I should go check that chest. But actually, there was obsidian in this one too, and therefore, I don't need to apologize. I did the exact right thing by not going in that previous chest, and everything is okay. <laughs> oh, phew. Almost had to learn a lesson there. Minecraft, but I complain exclusively about recent changes to horses. <laughs> exactly, yes. This is the idea. I rely on you showing up late. Anytime you show up early, it messes me up. You, you hear that, everyone? Xavier would be sad if I showed up early. I, do you want him to be sad or do you want him to be happy? Really, this is all between you and Xavier. We can all work this out. Okay, so now we place the last one of those blocks. And indeed that flint and steel, actually I guess the flint and steel is handy. So thank you for making me go back for it, bird for life. I, uh, you know, you, you're a part of chat when you do something good. And you're, you're an individual when you've done something wrong. Also, oh my god, how is this possible? How does it all link to the same portal? Wow! On Tuesday, Wednesday? For the next one, because the it's every other day, but the days are all whatever. Thank you for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. On and I hope you have Tuesday, a Wednesday? good rest of for your days. Oh look, there's whatever. my stream in the Thank background. Anyway, have a good day. Thank you. And uh, oh, I've got a fun if you if you like your long survival challenges, I've got a fun one going up today in a few minutes. Goodbye. See you there. Oh, check out the worst ideas of the year. That's one of the it's one of my best videos of the year. I enjoy it every time. So yeah, go check it out. Oh, you know what? This is too much self-promo. Go, go, go clean, clean some small part of your desk or your room and do some tiny amount of exercise, do some jumping jacks. The endorphins will make you feel good. And to promote something else of yours, uh, go, go, go sit there and think about what you could do to make tomorrow a better day than today. And then go do it. And use